It's something that's so normal for so many women, and yet it's so foreign to me. I don't have my period because I was diagnosed with premature ovarian failure when I was 14. Your ovaries stopped functioning. I had one natural period and nothing happened after that. I am a transgender woman. Transition has afforded me a great deal of benefits, but I don't quite necessarily have all of the bodily functions that most cisgender women do. Two years ago, I had cervical cancer and I had to get a hysterectomy. My fallopian tubes taken out, my uterus taken out, and two inches of my vagina cut out. But I actually have my ovaries still. Basically my period still happens inside me, but I don't have a uterus. So the blood's still like in there dissolving in me, but I don't have a period, basically. In terms of negative things, it's mainly like when people, they act like, oh, they know something happened, but they're afraid to ask me. And I'd rather them just say, oh, do you like, do you still have your period? Or like what happened with, what's your, do you still have your ovaries? I mean, I don't miss, you know, having to, you know, buy tampons or pads every month or, you know, have to go through that whole process. But I miss the idea of being an, you know, ovulating woman in that sense, yeah. I always feel really bad when I see people have to navigate the symptoms of having their period. I think it's hard enough being a woman on a daily basis, but then to have to carry that sort of pain not a fan. <laughs> I've not felt like less than a woman at all in any way, but I've had a few other people like put that on me. Like my therapist at the time, I don't think she'd like ever had a cancer patient or ever had anyone go through what I was going through. And she was like, oh my God, you're getting hysterectomy. Like you're not gonna be a woman anymore. Aren't you gonna, she said that to me like, Really kind of like, I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> like. Some trans women want all of the experiences that cisgender women have, but me personally, having a period is not one that I would look forward to. You know, the idea of a woman being a woman because she bears children, that attitude towards me from other women, that was really crushing. In particular, I remembered um, an ex-boyfriend of mine. We had remained friends and he started dating a woman who was a bit jealous of the fact that him and I had remained friends and she got particularly nasty one night and texted me all these really nasty things and one of the one of the things that she texted me was like well at least I can have kids i just remember thinking like you know what a low blow I can't say that I've ever wanted a period. There was a moment in my life where I did want a family. Because I can't have a period or because I don't have the reproductive functions that a cisgender woman would, there was a moment in my life where I felt somewhat incomplete. Several people told me that I might cry when I woke up after my surgery. Like a lot of people were like, you might wake up and just start crying and be like, I'm not a woman anymore. I don't have my uterus. And I will say, I'm not like belittling that because I'm sure there are lots of women who like for fertility reasons are really bummed. They have to get a hysterectomy. Maybe last minute it's a surprise thing. But like I knew I was getting one. I woke up and I was just like, do I still have cancer? I was just like, tell me they got all the cancer. When other women discuss periods, it always, for me, it's something weird. It always feels like it's like twilight zone because it's something that's so normal for so many women and yet it's so foreign to me. It's something that I, most of the time, I try to avoid. If it's people that I know that I'm not gonna really ever be around again, I'll just kind of fake it and pretend like I do have my period. There was a point where many of my friends thought that I was a cisgender woman and didn't know that I was trans. So I would actually carry tampons with me and I would keep some under my bathroom sink so that whenever they came over and asked if I had any, I would say, sure, j just look over in the cabinet next to the shampoo. I never want to be like a Debbie Downer when everyone's in the bathroom and be like, hmm, I don't get my period anymore. But also I'm kind of psyched to not have my period anymore. I think it's laughable when people try to invalidate my Womanhood as a trans woman when they say things like, well, you can't have a period or you can't have a child. If I could get my period again, would I? If you would have asked me that, you know, 10 years ago, I probably would have said yes, absolutely. But ask me that today, no, I don't think so because part of who I am today is 
the fact that I have premature ovarian failure. It's given me a lot of the strength I have today. It's given me a lot of the perspective I have. Honestly, I wouldn't change it. Again, my circumstances are different, but you know, with it being cancer, I really feel like I did the right thing because I didn't need radiation or chemo, which is so awesome. And I don't miss having my period at all. Periods don't make women women. Perseverance makes them women. Strength makes them women. I really feel like it's whatever makes you feel like a woman, like whatever specifically makes each person. I think a lot of what makes a woman a woman is in um, the way she carries herself. I think it's self-acceptance. I think it's, I think it's in all of those things that, you know, that makes a woman know who she is and and go out and be exactly who she who she is every single day